everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to fix the GPS phone problem that I got. Well, that was my problem with the GPS phone. What, what happened was I would download a game directly from my iPod here, and um, what would happen is the app would crash every darn time I were to try to load it up and GPS phone. And um, so what I did after that was I searched a bunch of stuff how to fix it. I couldn't find anything. Um, so what I did was I um, manually did it using a computer. And right now I'm going to show you how I fix my problem using the computer. Okay, so first off, you're going to need to download WinSCP, which will transfer the files from your computer to your iPod. And to do that, well, you're going to need WinSCP, and I'll put a link in the description that will take you directly to this page and it will automatically download right here because I tried it, started downloading but I canceled it and um, then on your uh, whatever iPod or I iPhone whatever iDevice you have open up Cydia and go to open SSH search, search open SSH and install that once you have that if you have SB settings slide well it's not really going to show it on here so slide that down Go over here and enable it. There, SSH. Make sure that's enabled. Okay. This doesn't need to be plugged up to your computer to work, but you can still plug it, of course, to your computer and it'll work. Um, so after you've downloaded both those files, um, you're going to need to go to Cool ROM or whatever site you like to get your ROMs from and download the ROM. ROM. Um, so I've opened up uh, WinSCP here, and I'm going to, I'm going to use Pokemon Emerald .zip right here. All right, here's the GBA file. Let's put that aside for a second. So then WinRAR. Okay, for the host name, you're going to need to type in your um, your iDevices IP address, and to find that out, you're going to go to Settings. Waiting for this. Okay, you're going to go to Wi-Fi. You're going to click the little blue button right there, but I'm not going to let you see any of my stuff. Um, it'll be at the top. It says IP address minus... Well, I'm not giving away my information. Okay, so type that in. Not really sure it's a big deal, but I still don't want to risk anything. Um, sorry, I'm leaning over a bunch of books right now to type, so it's kind of tricky. All right, and then where's his username? You're going to type in root. No, there's no cap. There are no capitalized letters. And then for the password, type in Alpine, which is A L P I N E. L P I N E. And then push login. Push yes. Oops. Things falling over. Ah. Sorry about that. Okay, so once this is open, I am trying to get the camera stable here. I'm so sorry. Okay, so once you've done that, you know this will this will pop up right here. This is where your iPod is. This is showing you your iPod's uh, information. Like if you were to go to iFile, this, would, this is the uh, main part of it. Except there would be applications on here, I think, but I'm at the wrong spot. Okay. And then here's your computer files. So what you're going to do, what you're going to do now, is um, I'm gonna start at the beginning. It's okay. All right, just push that little uh, slash right there. I'm gonna go down to var. You are going to go to mobile. I'm gonna go up to um, media. I'm going to go down to ROMs, GBA, and then right here is where you're going to put this. I'm going to put it right in here. Except you're going to open it up first, and I already have mine open, so I have no idea why I just did that. Once you extract it, you can just take it and drag it right there. You can either open it using this, or you can just drag it right there. Which copy, but I already have it, so I'm not going to download it again. And um, 
once you start it up, it should work. But let me go ahead and... I already got out of it. Okay, once you start it up, I already did it anyway, so I'm just going to show you how it works. Once you start it up... GPS phone. Okay, here we go. Come on, Emerald. Portrait and sound. And it should be working. If it doesn't work, um, leave comments, leave specific comments. I don't want anything like, it just crashes when it, when it turns on. I don't know what to do. Leave something specific. I can't help you with something non-specific because obviously I had the same problem and I just showed you how to fix it. And um, if you didn't, if you didn't follow, the, follow the rules right, then, well, the steps right, whatever it is, then you um, messed up. So uh, I hope it. I hope this helped. Um, sorry if I stuttered a lot, like I just did right there. And um, uh, see ya.